ろう。My name is Shigeru Miyamoto. Lately, I've been producing a number of different games like Super Mario Galaxy and Sun Fit. I've been Well, as a member of the board, technically,、uh, I do have、uh, some management responsibilities at Nintendo. But lately, I've been able to focus most of my time on actual game development. And I've been directly involved in a number of different projects like Super Mario Galaxy,、um, to a lesser extent, The Legends, all the Phantom Hour class, and then, of course, the Free Fit. Well, since the days of Super Mario 64, I think the, the, the Mario games have kind of gotten more difficult just in terms of controlling the game and the complexity of the controller. And we found that there were more and more people who just weren't able to enjoy the Mario games anymore. So, one of our objectives with Super Mario Galaxy was to try to streamline the controls in a way that would allow more people to come in and enjoy the game. And I think we've been able to do that by implementing、uh, some of the pointer functionality and by doing the little Wii Remote shaking to,、uh, to cause Mario to do the spin jump. It's given it a fresher feel and also、uh, made the game. Easier for people who don't play games to,、uh, to pick it up and play it. And then with、uh, the pointing device, what we've done is we've made it so that a second player can also play the game simultaneously. And they can use the pointing device on the Wii Remote to shoot star pieces at enemies and stun them, to hold enemies in place, and even to hold Mario in place in midair, so that whoever's playing can get a little bit of extra support. And you can also use it to kind of point out、uh, directions where you want people to go, where, you, where there's an, an object or something that you might want、uh, whoever is actually playing and controlling Mario to go find.、Uh, and you can also just use it to,、uh, to pick up、uh, star pieces.、Um, so I think that's really just made, it, made the, the interface a lot more、uh, fun and interesting、uh, and really done a good job of taking advantage of、uh, the wheel. The B suit really is kind of this is the main,、uh, the main new suit.、Uh, but、uh, there's another suit、uh, that allows Mario to become a boo. So you can look forward to seeing that soon. Mario games are generally、uh, platform games、uh, where you're running around and jumping from platform to platform.、Uh, so giving Mario the ability to kind of hover in air、uh, the way that,、uh, that Yoshi can、uh, is quite beneficial for,、uh, for you know, trying to、uh, jump across platforms and things like that. Well, the reason we called the game Super Mario Galaxy is because one of the, the main themes of the game is gravity and the way that gravity changes.、Uh, throughout the game, Mario travels, as you mentioned, from planet to planet, and、uh, some of the planets will have different gravity.、Uh, the gravity will be heavier on some and lighter on others. Because you're running around on these orbs, you run all the way around an entire planet instead of in, in one big flat open 3D area. Beyond that, there are going to be some 2D side scrolling areas to the game as well. And in those, you'll see going even from room to room. You'll have the gravity pulling you straight down, and then you'll run past a, a certain area and it'll pull you up to the ceiling and then pull you back down again later. So you'll really be zipping up and down all around.、Uh, you'll even have、uh, 3D rooms where you're walking all the way around the room from the floor to the wall to the ceiling.、Uh, so gravity was really as a central theme in the game. We felt that、uh, you know, referring to the game as Super Mario Galaxy and, and just the different、uh, gravities you would experience out in space, we thought was kind of the best fit. But of course, that being the case, there are galaxies that contain、um, you know, bees and, and haunted houses and, <laughs> and even more traditional、uh, you know, Mario style obstacle courses and, and levels like that.、So. It is, I think you could say, pretty similar in style to,、uh, to New Super Mario Brothers, where we there's a, a large number of courses.、Uh, they're generally maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, than what you've seen in the past, but with the,、uh, the volume and the number. It's very similar to New Super Mario Brothers, where the game design is built around maybe levels that are slightly smaller、um, and, and shorter, but, but there's a very large number of them.、Uh, so, in terms of overall scope,、um, it's really, I think, on par with,、uh, with the other Mario games.、Um, obviously, You know, we're trying to,、uh, to make games that are、uh, both accessible to the non gamer as well as ones that, that will、uh, satisfy the,、uh, the hardcore gamer.、Um, and we found that、uh, the, uh, the satisfaction level with New Super Mario Bros. was very high, and so we felt that in, in following a similar style of, of design philosophy that that would work quite well. Obviously, it's, it's my job as、uh, kind of the, the producer of the project to make sure that,、uh, you know, that The development team is, is adhering to that and that they're not trying to make things、uh, too audacious, so to speak. But of course, they always want to try to put more in and, and add more into the game. And I think, volume wise, though, it's definitely going to leave people very happy. 
Well, we thought we've obviously, you know, given a lot of different things uh, consideration in terms of what to include. We did have uh, some ideas for incorporating Mies into the game, um, but ultimately, I think for the Mies, all that we're planning on doing right now is just having you uh, use your Mies uh, as your icon on the uh, the save data screen. Well, actually, we fit was one of the uh, the projects that we originally had in mind when we first started thinking up the Wii concept. Um, and so I think really the two went hand in hand. We felt that if uh, you know if the Wii was going to do well, then the Wii Fit would relatively do well. Um, we also kind of were worried that you know if even if the Wii was doing okay and Wii Fit didn't do well, then maybe that would uh, that would make it a little bit more difficult. Uh, for for the Wii to continue to succeed. So given that the Wii has been so successful and that people have uh, really latched onto it in a way that, uh, you know, with Wii Sports and uh, everything else, I think that, uh, you know, it has made it a little bit easier for me as we, as we try to bring Wii Fit to market. One thing that's very important in entertainment is that when, when one person is doing something, you know, playing whether it's playing a game or, or doing something that's entertaining, it has to be entertaining in a way so that when other people see that person doing or playing that game, they want to play it too. Um, and so that was really one of the one of the concepts behind the Wii as well, which was that it needed to not only be fun itself, but it needed to be something that looked like it was very fun, and thus would be inviting for other people to, to immediately want to pick up and play it. Um, and so that's, again, our kind of similar concept with Wii Fit, is that hopefully people will see other people playing Wii Fit and think, oh, I want to try that too. Uh, so, you know, the fact that, uh, that we've been so successful in, in getting people to not only accept the Wii Remote, but also to, to really, you know, push it on, you know, you know, recommend other people that they play it and other people see it and they want to pick it up and play has, has really uh, kind of helped give us some confidence. Well, of course, there are, uh, even within Nintendo, um, a lot of uh, fans of particular Nintendo franchises working on our development teams, and a lot of them will often come to me and say, oh, I really want to make a new version of this game, or I have a great idea that I think would work well for this particular franchise. Um, and so, while I can't uh, make any particular promises, I, I can say that of the, the franchises that you mentioned, uh, I'm pretty certain that several of those will uh, will find uh, a home with uh, the, the new Wii interface and, and what that allows allows you to do in those particular games. Um, I think what's what's very important is that as we continue to experiment with the Wii and the Wii Remote and, and the Nunchuck, um, we'll continue to find you know new experiences that will feel fresh and, and interesting, or we may find ways that will make playing some of those games easier for people, uh, and so that would allow us to bring those games to market uh, in, in a somewhat new fashion.